Okay, so I sharpened just three of them. I'm not gonna put four, I'm just gonna put three in. And yes, these are not going to go all the way down to the base. They're really just gonna go through this board and this board. I just want a little bit of stability so that this is not going to shift in transport, okay? Again, you wanna make sure that these skewers are below the surface of your cake. And please use a nice big hammer. Don't use those little tiny silver ones. I see people going ta 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 and you have to do it a million times. Good Lord, buck up and get a man-sized hammer. So all the way down, okay, got it? Now, we're gonna move over to this little guy over here. We're gonna put the straws in that one. And because it's just gonna have a little tiny four inch square or round, you're just gonna to wanna to use four little straws. All right, and then I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my little um, powdered sugar again. Just a little bit. Cause it's so tiny, little tiny. Okay, my little icing dam, blue ring. All right, my little cake. Look how tiny that is. <laughs> okay. Now on this one, I'm just gonna use a skewer. I'm using just this one skewer, and I'm going to uh, just gonna put one in here because this is gonna get a main dowel rod with it. So I really don't need a whole lot up in here. I just wanna make this kind of a little bit stable so it doesn't have just one dowel in here. If you have just one dowel going in there, it's kind of like a stripper pole. If you were to swing on that puppy, things are gonna spin all the way around. Now, if you had another pole right next to it, you'd hit that pole, so it's gonna stabilize it and not allow you to go all the way around. Yeah, Clayton's looking at me like, what the heck? Okay. Now, on this one, on the big cake, I'm using this bigger dowel, okay? has an orange and you might even want to go up a shade higher than that. On the little guy, I'm using a yellow, which is a lot smaller, okay? Because I don't need this huge dowel to support the six and a four on here, okay? So I'm gonna take this dowel, go down to the bottom of my board, I'm gonna eyeball it here, and I wanna pre-cut it a little bit. And I'm going to have to probably cut it again when it's up there. No big deal. And you want to go ahead and put your dowel in. Okay. You hit my board. Again, press down. Look out. Heads up, Clayton. And there it goes, all right? So this one is ready to go. This one, this one is gonna be ready for its little coat of icing. This one, um, we're just gonna ice it, and then we're gonna put one more on there, then we're gonna put the main dowel in there. Now we've got the um, next tier on top, all righty? Now remember this one, we just put three of the dowels, a little bit medium kind of sized dowels in there. Then we're gonna put two of these little guys in here. And again, I know this is not going to go all the way down to the bottom. I just don't want it to be able to spin up here during transport. And because this is a six inch, I'm going to go ahead and just put two of these just to be extra secure. Now we want to put this big Mac Daddy in there. We want to cut off the excess pre-worn Clayton. Oh my god. <laughs> Press down on the cake and then cut. And then we're just going to use 
this little guy again, the aspirator, just to blow off the crumbs. Now you're gonna see these lines right here because I have to put a fondant band on so there. So I have the top tiered uh, tier iced. I'm just kind of waiting for it to set so I can smooth it out. Um, I'm taking this ribbon cutter and I've already marked the cake where the fondant ribbon's going to go, if you can see that I hope. Um, and then I adjusted the ribbon cutter to the same width of that and I'm going to go cut the fondant. And before I adhere it, I'm going to take a little bit of shortening, a little bit of brush, and I'm just going to gently put that on the cake. Because this way, if I have to peel it back off, I can. And there's the phone, customer service. Okay, well, I kind of got um, so behind in here that I ended up having to finish the cake instead of showing you part and piece by piece, or if that makes sense. Um, we just kind of got slammed. So this is the whole frou-frou guy. Um, this is what the whole cake is gonna is is looking like if you can kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. You know, this is the one I was working on. There's a couple little flaws, I'm sure, but. You know, the bows are a little bit too big, um, and but that's the best I can do. So, there it is. Ta-da! Okay, thank you, thank you. Bye.